Welcome to the guitar show. This is Ramon here. We're going to be uh, talking about Roy Orbison's um, very interesting guitar. Um, but firstly, I just want to say thanks for all your comments. Please keep them coming, and I've got some wicked suggestions for future shows. Thank you. So Roy Orbison was born in Texas in 1936. Roy started his first band in school, and they were called the Wink Westerners, and basically played uh, sort of covers of Glenn Miller songs in local honky tonks, and also they played on a local radio show. Roy had a chance to meet Johnny Cash, who was touring the local area, and Johnny Cash told Roy Orbison to approach Sam Phillips at Sun Records after being impressed by seeing Orbison perform. So this is really how he started his career. His career really developed in the 1960s. Let's go back to the Teen Kings, um, because it's really interesting the guitar that uh, Roy Orbison played, or the two guitars that Roy Orbison played in the Teen Kings, were a 1953 Gold Top Les Paul, and you can tell that by the wraparound bridge here. And also a 1956 Les Paul Custom Black Beauty guitar with P90s. So the reason I'm going to tell you about these two Gibson guitars, it may have some importance later. Later on in the 50s, when Roy had become a solo artist, he started to use a Gretsch White Falcon. So this can be seen in this photo here. And also if you uh, YouTube Roy Orbison Uptown, you'll see a performance on the um, Beach Nut show from 1960. You can see him playing a late 50s um, Gretsch White Falcon, and it has two switches on the upper bout. Now, after this, Roy Orbison turns up with what I think is one of the most coolest guitars ever in rock and roll. And it's a guitar that I, I remember seeing this, you know, growing up in England, seeing his early footage of Roy Orbison playing this guitar. And I always just thought, you know, what a cool looking guy with the sunglasses and, and the cool black guitar. And I always kind of wondered what that guitar actually was. So this is quite interesting. It actually has the neck of a Gibson Super 400. Now, a Super 400 has a long scale neck as opposed to a short scale neck. So it's probably quite nice for playing chords on. And, you know, Roy Orbison, let's face it, he was a strummer, not a lead guitar player. Um, also, it may have been that he was comfortable with the kind of Gibson neck from his sort of Les Paul days. You know, early in the Teen Kings, he was playing a 1956 Gibson Les Paul Custom, which is kind of an ebony fretboard and a you know, the classic sort of Gibson neck style. You'll also notice on the headstock of the guitar that the uh, the name Gibson has also been painted over. Okay, let's talk about the body of the instrument. Okay, there's been a bit of a debate whether this is a Gretsch uh, Country Club guitar or a Gretsch White Falcon guitar. So in my bit of research that I've done for this, um, I found out that in 1958, Gretsch White Falcon was actually issued with four switches on the upper bout. This was designed by Jimmy Webster, the actual designer of the Gretsch White Falcon guitar. This feature was not available on the Country Club, although I guess if you knew the factory, then you could actually go and get it customised. So 1958 Gretsch White Falcon has white binding on the top. So guys, if we check out the binding, you can see that it's got white binding on the top of the guitar, but on the side it's got this kind of checkered pattern. Um, so the only di real difference with a White Falcon is that uh, a White Falcon has a kind of a glitter pattern. So not sure what your thoughts are about this, guys. No one really knows what happened to the two original guitars, which were the donor instruments for this this one guitar. I've heard one story that Roy Epson didn't like the neck on his Gretsch, so he got a rubber mallet and, and broke it off. If we think about the fact that the Gibson logo has been painted over, it could be that Gretsch actually were the ones that worked on this guitar and put it together and therefore didn't really want to advertise Gibson's name, or that Roy Orbison had some affiliation with Gretsch at the time. So Roy Orbison's son, Roy Orbison Jr., actually states that um, the guitar that was actually used on the 1960 Uptown performance was a 1958 Falcon with the two switches. Roy actually accidentally broke the neck off that, so he sent it to Gretsch to have it overhauled with a Gibson Super 400 neck. The body was painted black, they put some show bud steel guitar pickups which you can see here, and also it was updated with a stereo wiring harness, and that included the two extra switches. Also, a Bixby B6 model vibrato was also installed. So after the 1960s, the guitar actually disappears. So Roy Orbison talked about this guitar when he was uh, interviewed by the BBC in the 1970s. And he states that whilst touring Japan, the Japanese were very, very interested in the guitar and wanted to make a copy of it. So he gave it to a guitar manufacturer and then never saw it again. Now, there is actually a guitar called a Gaitone SG22T. Notice it's very uncanny similarity to Roy's original Gretsch kind of Gibson mashup guitar. Um, what's interesting is they've even copied the Showbud pickups, which is really cool, I think. They haven't got the four switches, they've got just three switches on the upper bout. But I think you'll agree, it's a really decent job of copying this guitar. I'd love to get hold of one of these guitars myself, and uh, if I do, I'll definitely make a video on it. So guys, there's a few questions that are still remaining. Um, what really you know, happened that made Roy Orbison want to create this guitar in the first place? 
And also, where is this guitar now? What did Gaia Tone do with this guitar after they'd made a copy of it? My guess is that this guitar is still in Japan and maybe was passed down from the owners of Gaia Tone to somebody. But if you think you know better, please let me know in the comments section. Thanks for checking this video out. There's a lot more videos coming soon. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and share. This is Ramon from The Guitar Show, signing out. Take care. God bless.